Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is another week, so we have another video. My name is Whitney Q, and on this channel, we talk about personal development and being your best self. So if that is something that you are interested in, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and comment below and like the video, because it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. We're trying to beat the YouTube algorithm. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a topic very close to our hearts and that is confidence. Confidence is key to having the success that you want in your life and whether it is your personal or professional life, being confident actually helps you achieve the goals and reach new heights. Um, I haven't, I wouldn't say, I feel like naturally I'm a confident person, but there has been times whereby maybe my confidence has been knocked or when I've got feedback about something, and I didn't really like the feedback or it was negative. But with that, it can help you elevate into a better person and to become even more confident. So in this video, I'm going to share five ways to boost your confidence and become the best version of yourself. Remember on this channel, we talk about personal development, getting to that next stage and trying to better yourself. I've taken a journey where I really concentrated on trying to better myself and I've seen the benefits and I want to share that with you. So let's get into it. The first way to boost your confidence is to practice self-care. You know I talk about self-care on this channel a lot because once you look after yourself, you are able to look after everyone else. So it's important that you take time to look after yourself. So taking care of yourself can have a positive impact on your mental as well as physical being. It is very important to make time for yourself. So for me, I have Whitney's Wednesdays where I try to do something nice for myself. So just last week on a Wednesday, I think I washed my hair and I styled it, hence why it's looking good today. Oh my God, wow. And um, it was just a way of me saying that I'm putting something back towards me. So you can take a relaxing bath, you can meditate or walk in nature. Of, of recent, me and my mom, we go for walks, very, very long walks. And I work from home as well. So I make sure that I put in a lunchtime walk and walk in the park because it's very important to make sure you take time out for yourself or else you're going to burn out. So when you feel good, it shows and that is a way of boosting your confidence. The second way to boost your confidence is to challenge yourself, to put yourself outside of your comfort zone. I've done this, um, I think back a couple years ago, I really, really wanted to learn how to swim because I saw this YouTube video, I saw a guy jumping off a cliff in Jamaica into the sea and I thought to myself, I want to do that. But at that time, I didn't know how to swim. So then I challenged myself. I went for swimming lessons, I believe it was every Tuesday, and I am now able to swim. So putting yourself out of your comfort zone helps you achieve things that you never thought was possible. And spoiler alert, I was able to jump into the sea and I'm here alive to live to tell. So I definitely achieved my goal by making myself uncomfortable. So it could be as simple as trying a new hobby. Maybe you would like, you want to maybe learn how to sew. And before you know it, you can sew yourself a nice dress. You can sew your friends, your family dresses, or taking on a new project at work. At work, sometimes I feel we can kind of just not speak out or if there's any volunteers needed for a certain project we may think that we have too much to do but if you do have too much to do maybe don't do that but be open to exploring other avenues of your company or your workplace and then you may discover something new about yourself that you like something particular at work or wherever it may be so the more you challenge yourself the more confident you become with your ability so now i go swimming every single week on a thursday not necessarily to learn how to swim but more to control my form and to just become a better swimmer so now when i go on holidays i can jump into the sea i can jump off a yacht i can go into the pool with confidence because there was a time that i made sure that i will put myself in an uncomfortable position and learn something new and that was with swimming so that's a perfect example of me 
doing something out of my comfort zone. Number three, the third way to boost your confidence is to work on a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that you can develop abilities through hard work and dedication. Um, I remember I wanted to move abroad and just explore another country and I decided that I wanted to move to Ghana and just learn how to live there and that's with a growth mindset I mean I've lived in the UK I was born in the UK I lived in the UK all my life but me challenging myself and going to another country even though I do know Ghana but it was still a very unfamiliar land for me through that I had a growth mindset and I was able to develop new skills and know that I am able to do this so if I was put in a position whereby a job offer came up and they said I need to move to another country even if it is not Ghana or somewhere else I I can do that because I've done that in the past so by adopting a growth mindset you can overcome self-doubt I'm confident that I can go into another environment and I will thrive in that environment and it builds on your confidence focus on your strengths and don't be afraid to make mistakes the quicker you make mistakes the quicker you recover from it remember failure is just a learning opportunity if it didn't work for you what can you do differently for you to succeed the next time and then you'll be closer to your goals if you are enjoying this video, can you please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. I post weekly content on personal development and living your best life. We are here evolving to become better people. And as well as learning, there is a lot of unlearning to do. So come with me on this journey. The fourth way to boost your confidence is to work out. I started going to the gym consistently. I mean, I've, I've been to the gym before many, many times, but consistently. Um, since December so it's coming up to about seven months now and I'm seeing progress I'm seeing that okay the gym is something that actually works but the main thing is to be consistent and if you're struggling with being consistent please watch my other video which I'm going to link above about being consistent and um, exercise is not only good for your physical health but it's very good for your mental health for those of people that maybe can't get therapy Exercise is so good for your mental health, it clears your mind. I prefer doing exercise first thing in the morning because it then sets me up for the rest of the day. It releases endorphins that can boost your mood and overall you're just going to feel better and confident. So whether that is going for a run or lifting weights, find a workout that you enjoy. It could be dancing, it could be walking, it could be swimming, it could be running. As long as you're moving your body and making it a part of your routine, it's a great way of boosting your confidence. And then you get to meet like-minded people that are interested in the same thing as you. So make sure you get, I know it's boring, I know we don't wanna work out, I know sometimes we just wanna sit at home and watch YouTube and Netflix, but, Working out has got great benefits and the side effects is that you're gonna have a snatched body, okay? But all body is all bodies are great, but why not try and make your body into how you want it to be by working out and concentrating on your physical health. The fifth and final way to boost your confidence is to talk to yourself positively. I believe sometimes as human beings, we can be so harsh and so negative towards ourselves, um, but we'll show so much kind and grace to other people. We all have that little voice inside of our heads that can be very negative at times. I've been there, um, and especially when you're comparing yourself with other people thinking that you're behind on your journey but just understand that you are where you are and that's where you are supposed to be so instead of letting that little voice bring you down replace it with positive affirmations in my room i've got post-it notes everywhere that says great things about me you are amazing you're good at what you do the gym loves you trying to encourage me to go to the gym um, and just say nice things that actually reminds me of the person that i am and tell yourself that you are capable and worthy and deserving of success you've seen other people in your life that's successful you too are worthy of that same success as well the more you talk to yourself positively, the more confident you'll become. And you will start believing it because it's all about your subconscious. So it's very important to be mindful of how you speak about yourself to yourself and not just maybe relying on external validations in terms of compliments. I mean, it's nice when somebody compliments you, but that shouldn't define your self-worth. You should be able to find that self-worth in yourself and within yourself and that you can start that by speaking positively to yourself and that will boost your confidence so it's a win-win it is a win 
win. So there you have it, five ways of boosting your confidence. Remember, confidence is something that is built over time and it takes time and practice and dedication. It's not like you're going to say, okay, I'm going to be confident tomorrow. You're going to just be this confident person. It does take time. And before you know it, you are the most confident person and you know your self-worth. So by incorporating these tips into your daily routine, you can become more confident and a successful person. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be back next week with more videos. And if there's any videos that you would like for me to create, or if there's any topics you would like for me to talk about, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to do that. So I'll see you next time. Bye.